14 lucky couples have received a romantic experience of a lifetime from a partnership between Vision Group's Red European and Kidepo Valley National Park. The lowest speaking radio station in Gulu gave the Valentine's Day treat to lovers who are good listeners of the radio station. The trip included sumptuous meals, bonfire and game drives to the delight of the lovers whose Valentine's Day celebrations arrived a little late but with an overdose of true wildness romance. <laughs> The tourists mingled with foreign tourists. They had closer looks at lions, giraffes, elephants, buffaloes, and birds. Uh, the journey is so interesting um, because the, we have come just to share our, our uh, mostly the, the relationship. So we have come, we have enjoyed the, the, what, their program. I'm so much excited come to Kidebo because it's the first time and I, I never knew I would have been to Kidebo but surprisingly Rubin brought me here today and I'm so so happy to be Thomas Okumu, a listener from Namokola in Kitgum, was impressed with the wildlife and the accommodation. All important things. I see lion and good houses and good restaurants very, 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 very good. While Apacho Konsi from Nwoya vowed to go back for more fun in the wilderness of Kidepo. I've enjoyed this place. I like it. I would like to come back here again. The listeners who came from different districts such as Gulu, Nwoya, Apak, Kitgum and even Kiriandongo received vital information about the significance of Kidepo Valley National Game Park. You can see a tour company enjoying game drive. And Kidepo, like any other park, is unique to itself. Kidepo can offer you some games that you will never see it elsewhere. We have cheetah, we have, we have leopard, we have the largest antelopes in the world, that is uh, uh, Elan. We also find them here. We have the largest birds, like ostriches. We also find them here. And in Kidepo, if you miss animal, you will never go wrong with the landscape, as you see the Napori Ranges in the background. That is the Napori Ranges. If you turn your back, you see Morongole Mountain, bordering Uganda and Kenya. If you see mid north, you see Mount Lutuke in, in Sudan. So, if you go to the village, you enjoy the Kormujon culture. The promotions officer at 95.7 Red European, Ronald Okello, says the tour was meant to promote local tourism and give back to the radio's listeners who have stayed tuned since 2009. Uh, this arrangement, uh, it's in a bid. Oh, it is a starting point to celebrate Red European. And it's also a give back to the community and support the community for the past 10 years because without them wouldn't exist. Vicky Depot Chief Warden Johnson Augustine Masereka promised more trips to Kidepo for the Red European listeners. The next is scheduled for Easter period because he believes it helps in the promotion of the conservation as the Uganda Wildlife Authority celebrates 50 years. Uh, here at Apoka, we have been hosting 14 couples specifically selected uh, for the Valentine's Day celebration that took place on 14. Uh, we've taken them around the park. They have seen a lot of a variety of wildlife, but we took them for a game drive. They spent a night in the park all in the name of promoting conservation and the domestic tourism specifically under a partnership with the Red Putin Radio from Gulu. Kidepo was gazetted in 1960, covering 1,442 square kilometers neighboring South Sudan in the north and Kenya to the northeast. By 2017, Kidepo National Park has more than doubled its visitors from 2000 in 2012 to over 12,000 visitors, bringing in revenue of over 1.2 billion shillings currently. But it's a sign that some comes back. Report by Joseph Omagol for New Vision TV. Your man, <laughs>